Welcome to Movies We Love. Today we will look at a drama entitled Cinderella Man. Spoilers ahead. Remember to hit the like button. It's free and will help me to grow this channel. The movie begins with a boxing match between James Braddock and Tuffy Griffith. The year is 1928 and the place is New York City's Madison Square Garden. Braddock wins by knockout. He returns home to his wife May and their three children. The film jumps ahead here to 1933 and America is gripped in the Great Depression. Braddock has fallen on hard times. And his children barely have enough food to eat. They no longer live in a large, beautiful house. Braddock occasionally gets work on the New Jersey docks to earn the money his family so desperately needs. But sometimes there's no work available. Next we see Braddock fighting in Mount Vernon, New York. His manager, Joe Gould, is taping his hands. He learns that Braddock's right hand is injured. During the fight, Braddock is in excruciating pain as he fully breaks his hand. Unable to properly fight, the crowd jeers the fighters. At the end of the night, the fight commissioner, James Johnston, is so disgusted, he revokes Braddock's boxing license. We see Braddock back at the docks, trying to earn a meager living to feed his family. Braddock's right hand is broken, so he is forced to use his left. In the process, his left hand becomes stronger and stronger. This will prove useful in the future. Because of unpaid utility bills, the company shuts off the power to Braddock's home. In the cold of winter, they now have no heat or electricity. Braddock worries for the health of his children. He finally swallows his pride and applies for public assistance. The woman behind the screen says, I never thought I'd see you in here, Jim. For Jim Braddock, this is the lowest a man can fall. He has almost nothing left. But just as all seemed lost, a ray of hope, his longtime manager and friend, Joe Gould, comes to pay a visit. He has news. Thanks to a last-minute cancellation by another boxer, Braddock is offered a chance to fill in for just one night and earn $250 cash. The fight is against the number two contender in the world, Corn Griffin. Braddock responds, for $250, I'd fight your wife and your grandmother. Teeth in or teeth out, responds Joe Gould. We see Madison Square Garden, June 1934. Everyone is convinced Braddock won't last one round against Griffin. The beginning of the fight doesn't look good for Braddock. He is clearly outmatched by the monstrous Griffin. In the first round, Griffin sends Braddock face down on the mat.
By the second round, Braddock starts to outsmart Griffin, jabbing with the left and sliding with a right cross. By the third round, Griffin is eating so many jabs and crosses, he starts to wobble in the knees. Braddock gets him up on the ropes and finishes him off. He hits the canvas. It's a stunning upset. Working on the docks using his left hand has paid off. After Braddock's shocking win over Griffin, Joe Gould is able to convince Johnston to reinstate Braddock's boxing license and gets him another big ticket fight against John Henry Lewis. Lewis had previously beaten Braddock. Braddock now begins to train seriously. We see Madison Square Garden on November 1934. Lewis is a tough fight for Braddock because he's amazingly fast. Joe Gould says to Braddock, let go with the punches, hit him. He ain't gonna like it. I guarantee you, the more you hit this bastard, the slower he's gonna get. Braddock moves in and cuts off Lewis's speed, trapping him in the corner. Lewis soon is down for the count. Next, Jimmy Braddock fights and defeats Art Lasky. He becomes the number one contender with a shot at the heavyweight championship held by Max Baer. When Bear finds out he has to fight Braddock, he is not happy. He considers Braddock a washed up loser. Braddock is a 10 to one underdog. Max Bear, the champ, is a vicious man who has killed at least two men in the ring. He is so destructive that the fight's promoter, James Johnston, forces both Braddock and Gould to watch a film of Bear in action, just to see what he will face in the ring. They watch Frankie Campbell get brutally beaten by Bear and killed in the ring. The autopsy states that Campbell's brain was knocked loose from the connecting tissue. But Braddock demonstrates no fear and watches the film more closely to analyze Bear's strategy. The arrogant Bear attempts to intimidate Braddock, even taunting his wife May in public that her man might not survive. May Braddock becomes so angry that she throws a drink at him On June 13, 1935, we witness one of the greatest matches in boxing history. The winner will be the heavyweight champion of the world. Bear obviously doesn't take this fight seriously. He monkeys around and mugs for the crowd. Whenever Braddock lands a solid volley, Bear drops his hands and sneers instead of trying to retaliate. All the while, Braddock executes his fight plan with understated efficiency. Braddock mixes in rights to the body, constantly changing ring position, landing spearing jabs while ignoring Bear's clowning antics. 
all the while piling up points. The crowd is left in a state of suspended disbelief. They suspect Braddock is building a huge lead on the scorecards, but they also realize everything could be erased with a single blow by Bear. They greet every Braddock connect with a rousing cheer. Meanwhile, Bear is playing a dangerous game of chicken with Braddock. How long will it be before he lets his big guns go and rids himself of the stubborn challenger? Bear finally wakes up in the seventh by stunning Braddock with a trademark right. The iron chin challenger shakes off the punch and continues to smartly pick his spots. With a fierce look of contempt, Bear finally comes in for the kill. He pummels Braddock with huge rights, sending Braddock spiraling around the ring. Remembering what he saw in the fight video, Braddock escapes Bear's death blows and stays on his feet. In the last minutes of the fight, the two exhausted men summon what strength they have left for a ferocious torrent of blows against each other. Both are trying to score as many points as possible. When the final bell is rung, the audience waits for the scorecards with bated breath. Finally, the winner is red. James Braddock is truly the Cinderella Man and the next heavyweight world champion. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more movies like this, hit the like and subscribe button to be notified when I upload a new video. Leave a comment below. Tell me which movies you would like me to recap in the future.